and here we have the finished product with the modified heat sinks so inside we've now got the uh, this large heat sink uses a cold heat sink the fan positioned on top this time because it's blowing down we've got the heat sensor here and then if I move over to the outside you can see I've now put the radiator on the outside the fan uh, here's the filling tube which I can close off uh, with a bung when I've finished and I've got the electronics down there and uh, I'll be testing it in just one moment I've just connected it up and we're giving it a trial temperature at the moment reads 34 now dropping to 33.9 and what I'm going to do is leave it on for half an hour and uh, see what the temperature is at the end of that time so now we've been going for half an hour and the temperature now is 28.7 and I realise I I've started with a bit of a disadvantage in that the whole unit was um, stored in a uh, conservatory about 40 degrees C so the whole core of the uh, insulation will be um, warm so it's going to take a while to reduce but the good news is it's reducing steadily um, the the uh, radiator is uh, is warm, the fan's working and when I touch the heat sink inside it's, uh, it's cold so uh, I think it's just a matter of time for the temperature to creep down and looks like we have a uh, a working project here. The only challenge is uh, how much below ambient temperature will it uh, end up um, uh, reducing down to. We've just returned from a camping trip in the UK for four days, uh, in fact it's been four days, four hours since uh, since we loaded up this box. Um, we've not used the cooling device because this, uh, as previously mentioned, uh, has not been too successful. It reduced the temperature by about 5 degrees and that's its limit. So we've been relying on ice for the trip. And uh, I'll just show you how the temperature has fared. So if we plug it in so we can see the temperature, um, I can see the temperature here is uh, 11 point five degrees C and the ambient temperature here is probably about um, um, 20 degrees C and we've had some some mixed days some some very hot spells and some also some uh, rainy um, periods so we've managed to keep a good temperature there purely using ice just going to unplug this to get rid of the noise um, and uh, we've eaten most of the contents now but you can see here I used a two litre bottle which was frozen before I left. That's still got ice in it, as you might just be able to see. Um, I had two of those, um, plus a, a smaller bottle and a couple of others. It looks like I had about six litres of, uh, of cooling um, frozen um, in there. And then I had, uh, had it full, um, almost completely with food. And a, and a few other drinks as well so uh, that, that's managed to keep our food fresh over that long period so I think the uh, the conclusion here is that the the 100 millimeter thick walls um, work extremely well and um, um, however unfortunately the Peltier device um, eats electricity and uh, and and hasn't added much to the uh, to the cooling effect of the ice so the the way forward is clearly thick insulation and uh, plenty of room inside for ice. Hope you enjoyed the video series.